we need to know that the mower is set on the correct height to the job that we want to undertake. So again, going back, the machine is parked, it's safe, it's a really nice angle to work at on this, on this workbench. Uh, it's not going to move anywhere, it's turned on. Again, with the battery, the battery is battery machine is turned off, there's no chance of anything moving. We're still at the, the, the dangerous end of the machine, so we need to make sure the machine is, is safe to be working on. Um, we need to know that uh, everything is as it should be. The, the height of cut is, is done by raising and lowering the front roll. The rear roll and the front roll are the two points of contact this machine has with the ground. The rear roll, whilst it rotates, is fixed. It doesn't move up or down, it just rotates. Uh, our point of adjustment is the front roll. We raise and lower our front roll to affect our height of cut. So we lower the front roll, moves in this quadrant on this particular machine. Uh, it's, it's in this position, we're lowering the front roll to give the highest height of cut. We're probably somewhere around about the 50 mil mark here. It's our height of cut. If we were to raise the front roll, it gives us our lowest height of cut, and we're probably somewhere near 9, 10 millimeters. We need to know that the bearings, so the rear roll spins, the front roll spins thus. We need to know that the bearing's good. If we've got movement in our front row of bearings, that's going to adjust, that's going to affect, that's going to affect everything. But we certainly, it's very difficult to set an accurate height of cut um, with front row of bearings that are, that are not good. But in this case, the front row of bearings is good. No movement, perfectly happy with that. So we need to determine our mowing height. We need to make sure that it's mowing that same height on both sides. If we set one side and it's on, for example, 20 millimeters, and on this side it's only on 18 or 22 millimeters, there will be a step in the cut. You may not notice it when you're actually mowing it, but the following day you're going to see all these ridges, all these steps where we haven't set it correctly. So we need to determine the height that we want. We need to make sure that it's that height before working with the curve of the cylinder when the grass is cut. So the things that we need, we need a height setting bar. It's a fairly straightforward piece of equipment. Um, should come with a new mower. We need to make sure that it's the right one. There are very different, there are varying sizes and shapes, lengths, diameters of height setting bars. Clearly, this one is for a small machine. It won't do what we want it to do. So we need to make sure we've got the right size setting bar for the machine. And this is the machine, this is the bar for this machine. We need to set the height of cut on this bar. And the height of cut is measured from the top of the bar to the underside of this stud here. So it's from the underside to the top of the bar. I personally like using these calipers and I can put that in there. I preset my heights on 22 mils and it will fit under the flat head, as we said, and on the top of the bar, like so. So we know that that distance is 22 mils. That's the height that we want to leave our football pitch that we're now going out to mow. 22 mils. You can use a rule. You just off the ruler and you put your zero on the top of the bar. And our 22 will be again on that home side. That's done. We need a 19 millimeter spanner that goes on to our that side of the side to keep the roll in place. When we've set the height, we need to tighten those up so it doesn't move when we're out on the double pitch. So the bar sits under the rear roll. Go to one way or the other. It must go under the rear roll, it must go under the front roll. If we're not completely under the rear roll, we'll never set our height correctly. So we're going to go under the rear, under the front. We're going to sit this flat head on the top of our bottom blade because that's where the grass is cut. As the blades pass over the bottom blade, that's where we cut the grass. So that's where the top of our bar, the underside of that nut is going to sit. So that's the, and it's going to sit like so. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to lower very carefully this front roll down so it just sits on top of our bar. We don't want to go down the crash because we could damage 
bridge up off the blade. So I'm just doing it very carefully. But just brushes a little bit more. There we go. Just brushing very nice. What I'm gonna do is just gonna nip this up so it doesn't move. Be really, really tight but just enough so it doesn't move. Because we'll come back and revisit this shortly. So, I'm now going to come across and check this side because we said we must have at the same height the full working width. If it's higher or lower on one side, that's going to affect our cut. That's sitting in there, that's nice. Should be though, it should be the same. But the top of that, or the underside of that stud is sitting on the top of the bottom blade. This is sitting under the rear roll, this is sitting under the front roll. Same amount of pressure on there, so that's good. I'm just going to get that up. Now I'll set it, I don't want to move it. Just one up very tightly. Take that out. I'm just going to go back to this side and just double check. This one has moved. There we go. That's in. That's nice. That's good. So, the last adjustment is just to nip that up to make sure so that's completely tight. It's not going anywhere. There we go. Take that out. That must come out. So, we preset our bar. We put it on, on the top of the bottom blade. We've lowered our front roll, same on both sides. We know we're on 22 mil, so we've measured this distance. We've done both sides. We know that we're kind of parallel. It's 22 mil across the full working way. Different machines have different ways of adjusting the front roll. With some machines, you may have a hand wheel either side. They're done independently. With this one, it's just moving up and down in this quadrant on the side. But it's just understanding how you adjust your, your front roll to suit. This is on a fixed machine. On a triple mower or a fairway mower, you may have floating heads. You may have to adjust the front and rear uh, roll to get that point of cut. But with a pedestrian mower, we're just adjusting the front roll. That's all we're doing. The rear roll is fixed. So bar goes between the two rolls. That sits on the top of the bottom plate. And we lower the front roll so it just sits on the top to get up that height. That's sitting on the cut. Thank you.